One day, you're in a tight elevator when a complete stranger joins you. It's awkward. You're only stuck with them for a short time, but stuck nonetheless. I'm sure you'll feel uncomfortable, bothered even. You might have encountered this scenario before, and unless you're in the most extroverted mood, then speaking is out of the question. So, which of these would you do in this situation? Now, you may be asking, why is speaking or communicating even a choice here? Can't I just distract myself or do nothing? Well, any of these choices or even nothing at all is also you communicating. That is called nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication is interacting and understanding one another through non spoken behaviors. You can communicate by simply changing your facial expressions, arriving late, applying perfume, or even wearing clothes. A lot of our everyday behaviors are actually us sending messages, and these fall under many, many areas, and each of them is another field of communication studies in their own right. For this lesson, however, we will focus on proxemics, the area of NVC that is concerned with how we communicate through space. Edward Hall, an American anthropologist that developed the concept, said that as human beings, we recognize, value, and protect our spaces, especially our intimate space. He said that someone invading our personal space is inevitable, and sometimes it may not be the most pleasant experience. Let's go back to the elevator. Once the stranger entered the elevator with you, they invaded your personal space. And whether it's a conscious decision or not, you will do something to reclaim that space. The Intimacy Equilibrium Hypothesis, a theory on proxemics, tackles our nature to do this. It says that we act to take back our space when we feel that its boundaries are intruded. What we commonly do is use things to barricade our space, like slinging our backpack towards the invader to create the illusion of a border. But sometimes, we ignore the intruder completely to mentally remove them from our personal zone. We might do this by averting our gaze or opening our phones. Good news! You finally arrived at your floor and the invader to your personal space is no more. <sighs> A sigh of relief. So now that you know the basics of NVC and proxemics, do this. Whenever you're curious, try looking at mundane things that you and everybody else do and try to look at them as communication. And the next time you're with someone on an elevator, try looking at what they're going to do and ask, what messages are they going to send next?